So we have a few main objectives for why we're doing this combine. One of them is to engage with as many athletes as possible in our community. Uh, we want to also create a pro and college-like experience for as many athletes as possible in our community. And we also want to help develop a long-term holistic approach for as many of our athletes in this community as possible. For the athletes that are going to be playing at the next level, it's a great opportunity to get exposure and experience and extra reps with these testing equipment that they're probably going to get at the next level anyways, which will help make test data more reliable when they get to the university level. And for the athletes who aren't going to be playing at the next level, it just gives them an opportunity to experience what a next level environment would be like. Coordinating a high volume combine event like this obviously is a lot of work and it can be overwhelming at first. A few things that have made it easier setting this stuff up has been partnering with a local club team. We've partnered with Goodwin Hoops and the partnership has allowed us to focus on what we're both good at. He has tons of athletes readily available who he wants to get tested. We just want to implement the testing and the strength conditioning. So together we're a really, really good fit. Our goal with the event is to help athletes maximize their potential, improving their performance as a whole, guiding them through the training process. That way they're able to compete at the highest level possible, reducing their injury risk, and helping them enjoy the game overall. The Vault staff has been incredible through this process, helping us navigate the best way to organize the event, structuring the layout, helping to streamline the process for the athletes, improved ability with the data collection, having it set up in the hub beforehand, and then better ability with tracking and organizing the data and what we do with it afterwards. So when I came across Sam first and the entire Thrive team, the thing that I liked and the thing that jumped out to me was they keep the athletes' goals and outcomes at the center of everything that they do. So things like testing, training, and athlete wellness in general is completely prioritized here at Thrive. And from my background as an SSC coach previously, that's something that I really resonate with and I'm really, really happy to be working with Thrive, Sam, Nate, and the broader team. Over the years of working with athletes, I've been fortunate to be a part of different processes like preparing for the NHL Combine as well as the NFL Combine. Throughout this time, I've had limited experience and opportunity with such technology like what Vault has to offer. In general, we've typically been relegated to having tape measures and stopwatches. And while you're able to get by with these, the level of quality in the rigor and data that you actually collect is sometimes questionable. Utilizing the Vault technology, we have a much more simple and streamlined and efficient process where we once needed to collect information by paper and pen, trying not to lose it, ensure that it was accurate, and then have to input into a system afterwards. Now we have a one-stop shop to be able to go for and be able to collect the data and start using it. We've selected a series of objective tests that we can compare to normative data to get an idea of where they're at compared to their peers, and then also be able to track them over the long term. The tests that we've chosen cover a different range of qualities, trying to assess their power, speed, strength, and their actual jumping ability. After the warm-up, their first test up is gonna be the force decks, where they're gonna go through counter movement jumps. They'll get three attempts at that. Then they'll follow that up with a 10-5 hop test. After the force decks, they're gonna roll into the measuring and broad jump station, where the athletes are gonna get their wingspan measured, as well as their standing reach. After that's done, they're gonna get three attempts at a broad jump, where we'll take their best score. After the broad jump station, they're gonna roll into the three quarter cord sprint test, 75 feet using the Smart Speed Plus system from Vault. Athletes get two attempts at the three quarter cord sprint. After that test, they're gonna roll into the 5105 Pro Agility test, once again using the Smart Speed Plus system, where they will get one attempt on each side. After that test, they leave the combine and the next team will roll in. We're gonna be utilizing the data from a three prong approach. Number one, we're gonna use it to inform training and coaching, helping to select what areas the athletes need to specialize and work on. Number two, we'll be testing the athletes and hopefully be able to track them longitudinally over time, comparing them at the end of the season and then over years to come as we continue doing the combine. Three, we're gonna create athletes scorecards and reports, sharing with the athletes and their parents, allowing them to get an idea of where they stand compared to their peers and other normative data. Utilizing the data that we can collect, we can start to categorize athletes depending upon what areas Areas that they struggled with and need to bring up to maximize their potential in the sport and also highlight areas that might be a concern from an injury standpoint. 
So for instance, if we're looking at something like the 75 foot sprint test, we can look at the different splits that we're gonna be collecting, highlighting where the athletes are more successful at acceleration versus top end speed. If they need to specifically work on one versus the other, if they need to elevate both, or if it's not even a concern and we can take that training time and place it onto something else. So the number one question we get with Valve is, is that good once we perform a test? Luckily, we've got normative data across a range of different populations where we can actually quantify someone's performance relative to their peers, which has been extremely helpful to answer the is that good question. The second thing that testing on four stacks and smart speed allows you to do is identify, yes, someone's absolute performance outcome. So that'll be things like jump height and peak force. But we can also look at their strategy to achieve that. That's things like contraction time, any asymmetries, eccentrically or concentrically when they jump. And that allows the team here at Thrive to, number one, give the absolute performance metrics. But number two, keep that in mind when they're building out training programs, but also prehab injury prevention style programs as well. By utilizing the technology that we have, we start to remove some of the bias and limitations in the data that we collect. In situations where you might skew the data either by accident, possibly not being as attentive to the test as you were, or in situations where you might be encouraged to try to have the athlete score a little bit better, having these more objective options helps to ensure that the accuracy is there and it's more consistent across each time that you do the test. If you want to use this data to actually inform coaching in your practice, you want it to be as objective as possible. If we're doing something like a standing reach and then going over and doing the Vertec, there's so many variations and variables that are going to limit how accurate that data is. In one situation, the athlete might not reach as high as possible or the tester might not actually ensure that they are reaching as high as possible. And then the next time that you go to do that test, you could skew the data by having them reach higher or reaching less. And so you can't actually objectively know if their jump height has improved or worsened. In contrast with someone with the four stacks, we consistently know, are they making improvements in the measures that we care about? And we can compare that to the quality of our training. If I was to give some advice to somebody wanting to do this for the first time, I would say do as much work as you can in advance of the actual day. So something we do is we get all the rosters from the club team. Once we have those rosters, we input all of those rosters into Vault Hub, where we assign each athlete an athlete number that they get on the actual day of the combine. We usually just take a black Sharpie and write it on their arm or their leg. And that way, when they come to us, we just ask them their athlete number and it's very easy to find them in the system. So if I was going to give advice to someone running a similar event, I would say less is more. Do the simple things really, really well and choose metrics, choose tests that will correlate to that individual's sport performance, but also metrics and tests that will give you insights into that athlete's athletic ability in general. So when someone tries to set this up, things I've seen in the past are a lack of preparation, usually leading to issues on the day of testing. So one thing that I know that the guys at Thrive do really well is they prepare from a roster point of view, but also educating all of the testers and assessors in the exact protocols that they need to run, but also how to educate the athletes on the metrics and the scores that they're collecting. So with Vault, we've got a, a combine checklist that allows you to organize the day before the event, the event itself, but also afterwards when you analyze the data and begin to share that with the relevant stakeholders. To put on an event like this, you need to get involved with the community. You're not going to be able to just set up an event and hope athletes show up. You need to actually go out, join in with the community, get involved, go to events, see how you can actually serve them. And then from there, start to offer your service and show that what you're going to be bringing to the table will help to improve the overall quality of what they're experiencing as a whole. We've had a great response from running the Combine up to this point. We've had athletes sharing it on their social media profiles, families posting about it, recommending it to other athletes. And from this, we've gained more collective information across the community, having more people aware of our gym and what we have to offer. Vault has been so supportive of these events. They've been very helpful. Ryan has been a huge help in actually administering the Combine, as well as giving advice on the best way to set up the technology, how to input them into the system, how to set up the tests in the system. They've been just so great to work with, and we, we couldn't do it as effectively without them. Okay.